Well, now my top 500's done, and Pacquiao's in, I've got a few other things to crack on with and get finished. So one of them is my Hall of Fame, so there'll be one of these today, this one now, I'll do another one tomorrow, I'll do another one the day after. I'll get through the first round, have a few we uh, weeks rest before I do the second round of entries before it's finished. So let us look at this video, we are looking at the letters O and P for entries. So let us jump onto the Boxing Librarian Hall of Fame entries under the letter O. So the first fighter in there, okay, is um, a great fighter from the time of Jack Johnson, Philadelphia, Jack O'Brien. Next fighter joining, okay, is great bantamweight king, Manuel Ortiz, and another great bantamweight and featherweight fighter, Ruben Olivares, the great Mexican puncher. He also goes in. Former lineal middleweight champion, Mike O'Dowd, um, also joins, as does the Hawaiian punch, Carl Bobo Olsen. Um, the great light welterweight and lightweight champion Carlos Ortiz also goes in, as does the underrated Ken Overlin. So they are my Hall of Fame entries for the letter O. Okay, we'll jump onto the letter P shortly. These two letters, not as many entries, not as many fighters um, under consideration with the letter O. You know, through these videos, some letters have larger lists than others. There's some more coming up with larger lists. Uh, some more surprising names added here or there. But not on the letter P. The letter P that we're going to now is quite standard. Um, no real surprises, um, surprise entries. The first fighter, of course, joining under P is Floyd Patterson, um, the former holder of the youngest heavyweight champion ever prior to Tyson. Um, and also lightweight Billy Patrol, okay, the body puncher. He also goes in, as does former light heavyweight champion Willie Pastrano. Uh, Willow the Wisp Willie Pep also joins my Hall of Fame, as does the great flyweight champion Pascal Perez. Billy Papke, okay, um, infamous for the Ketchel Wars, he joins, um, as does long-reigning featherweight champion Eusebio Pedrosa. So like I said, okay, that is the latest entries to my Hall of Fame O and P. I've got another one of these videos ready. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do another one a few days after. Once the initial letters have gone through, like I said earlier in the video, um, once I get to Z, okay, I'll leave it there a week or two, come back, one larger video, add in any other names, then my Hall of Fame is finished, okay? But for now, they are the entries into the Boxing Library and Hall of Fame under the letters O and P. I'm out for now.